Okay. I have lost count of how many days I've missed again. I've just sort of accepted at this point that the at least the next few weeks, that's just going to be normal. I might be able to get it back on track starting in like August or so. But until then, and even then, I don't know. But until then, I'm still going to try to be on top of this uh, as much as I can. But like... I'm not gonna sweat it a whole lot. I did something pretty fun, actually. Um, I think I've mentioned on this channel that uh, my junior year at CTC, our first semester project was to make a text-based adventure game in C++. And I spent way too long putting way too much effort into it. And it was, it's like over 10,000 lines of code. It's l actually ridiculous, but it works for the most part. And that's pretty cool. I haven't ever played it all the way through <laughs> because I spent way too long working on it and I had no interest in ever playing it. But I found the code uh, a few weeks ago. I, I hadn't, I didn't know where it was for a long time. I assumed I had lost it, uh, but I found it a while ago and I actually spent today refactoring it into Java. I was so happy that Microsoft did such a good job copying Java when they made C++ because copy and pasting that code was so easy. Like there were, like don't get me wrong, there were a lot of like errors that I had to change, but I don't have to, I didn't have to change any logic shit and I didn't have to change code structures. I just had to like fix syntax in a few places. Um, and like I had different notation to do this than it is over here. So it's like, it's, I had to change stuff, but it was all basic stuff. And now that I've done that, it seems like I have a version of this game that most of the features from the last one, or from the other version, are in. There's a there's some that aren't that can run on any platform, which is super cool because like a C plus plus that can only run on Windows because it's an EXE. I mean, there may be a way to get it to run elsewhere. I haven't looked into it super hard, but like it would be super complicated. This is Java. It just it, it'll run, so that's cool. I kind of want to take a stab at this and try adding in a visual element. And we'll see if I end up staying motivated to do that long enough to see it through, or if I end up giving up super quickly. But if I'm gonna do that, I'm also probably gonna rebuild it a little bit. I don't think I'm gonna take this code and just slap a GUI on it. I could, I could probably do that, but this, this is buggy enough that it's probably a better idea to say, okay, that's a good start. Now, almost four years later, with a lot more school and a lot more professional experience with software development and more experience with Java, let's take a run at this again and try to do it well in less than 10,000 lines because it, it, the 10,000 lines are not necessary. That's, I might end up doing that. I might, I might try rebuilding it from the base and doing it well this time and then slapping a GUI on it. And I'm actually, I'm kind of excited about it. So yeah, that's what I'm working on in my free time right now. And part of why I think my, like, part of why I put this, put making this off until, <gasps> until nine tonight. But it's actually earlier than I expected it to. This isn't bad. I could have been worse about this. So, all right. Peace.